Hey guys, this is Agent Mindstorm, and that Unzella that you're spe seeing right there, that's not really me. That's a different Agent Mindstorm. Let me show you. Yeah, there's two Agent Mindstorms in this world. I'll explain it in a second. Basically, guys, do you see this water? Do you see this lava? Do you see this recipe book? Do you see the thing that selects your item name? Do you see what I've done? I have found a combination of two resource packs. I have put them onto a world on my tablet. I have loaded the world up and I've joined the world on my Xbox and gotten the resource packs there. Oh my gosh, guys. This fixes most of the things wrong with Bedrock Edition all at once. The water! It's so beautiful! It looks like Minecraft water now, and not some fake watery substance. The lava! Looks how lava is supposed to look, and it looks great! The inventory looks right, the- Basically, guys, this is a combination of two resource packs. One by the name of Mixed UI Pack, made by EX or Krizart, I don't really know how to pronounce his name. And the other one is the PCGUI pack, and it's made by a bunch of different people. I'll have them both linked in the description, and I'll be doing a tutorial on how to do this later in the video, but I just want to go over most of the things that it changes. So, let's start. So, the first thing that's most obvious here, recipe book looks amazing now. And it's also, see, it's got the normal recipe book from PC icon right there. It's great. So, now, there's actually something else I want to show you. Let's get all the containers here. So let's get out a shulker box, let's get out a chest, let's get out a uh, stone cutters can't open, anvil, brewing stand, furnace, and crafting table. So these, the text is centered at the top. Oh my gosh, why is the text not centered in vanilla? It bugs me so much that they haven't fixed it, but this guy has done their work for them and fixed it. The chest's text is centered. The stone cutter doesn't do anything. The, the anvil looks how it's supposed to look. The brewing stand looks how it's supposed to look. The furnace looks how it's supposed to look. But most importantly, the crafting table has this beautiful little button here that makes it look so much better than it did when it was the weird side thing. Oh my gosh, I am so glad that this guy went out of his way and made this pack. And now something else that's really small that I want to do too is let's get out some XP bottles. Uh, where, where do you even get bottles of enchanting? This is the worst organized inventory ever. I know he can't change that with the pack, but if it was possible, I would love it. So, uh, enchant... No, it... N. E. N. C. A. Okay, enchant... Ing bottle, okay, let's just give ourselves some XP here because I want to switch to survival and show something else. Which is that in survival, the hot bar looks how it's supposed to look. As you can see, the XP bar has been fixed, the number now has a black outline. Oh my gosh, this is how it totally should be. I don't know why they haven't gone and done it like this guy has. This guy is better at making the game than the people who've made the game are. Now, let's go back to creative for a second, because there's a few other things that this combination of packs changes. It changes the autosave icon, which you could have seen for just a split second. It changes it so that it actually looks like an autosave icon from the old console version, and not a low pixel version. Uh, there's one glitch with the pack, which is that instead of clearing your hotbar like it says in the bottom, it'll just take half of the stack, which is really not that big of an issue when there's a slash clear command. So, um... Yeah, just, just look at- honestly, guys, the biggest thing here is probably the water. Also, the pause screen is this. I probably haven't- you've probably already noticed this, but the pause screen has been changed to how it is on the old version, kind of. I would love it if you can make skins, how to play, and attribution, and player list all just in this nice list here, but that's- it's just so much better than the original menus, I can't even- oh, I just- Thank goodness that someone, someone wanted to go and do this and fix it for us. Now, the last thing that I've been constantly teasing you that it does is it changes door sounds so that they sound like they should, and it adds the variety. On Pocket Edition, they don't have new door sounds or iron door sounds, or this pack adds some of them. It can't add all of them because it's not possible to do that with resource packs, but it adds most of them. So, that's really cool. So now, guys... Let's get straight into the tutorial on how you can do this for yourself. 
that we've hopped over to our mobile device, you will have to either be using an Android device or a Windows 10 computer. You cannot do this with iOS, I am sorry, but it's Apple's fault, it's not mine. They locked down their software, there's no way to download and edit files. I am sorry, but this is only for Android users and Windows 10 users. So come to Chrome, and you'll need these three apps right here. Minecraft, ES File Explorer, and Chrome. Click on Chrome, and come to these two links that I have linked in the description right here. Vanilla Deluxe Mixed UI, and PCG UI Pack. Now both of these are what you're going to be downloading, so just scroll down past all of this stuff. Ignore it all, because you're actually going to be deleting most of this later, but come down here, click the one that says, without D-pad buttons recommended, click that, it'll bring you to Mediafire, and just download it from there. Do the same thing with this pack, scroll down, look at all these beautiful images of what it changes to look like, and now, once you're at the bottom, hit download resource.micpack. Now, once they're downloaded, hop on over to ES File Explorer. Now, you can come to your downloads right here, and then these are the two things you just downloaded. So hit one of them, just tap it. And I'm not going to do that, but what it'll do is it'll import it straight into Minecraft. Do that with both packs so that you have two packs into Minecraft, but you're not done. Once they're imported to Minecraft, you can find them in games, com.moyang, resource packs, and right here, PCGUI right here, and Vanilla Dell right here. Those are the two packs you just downloaded. And I also have some other ones installed here, but they don't even work right. So click on PCGUI 6.4. Now, I've already deleted it, but there will be a folder in here called UI. Select it like this and hit delete down here. The reason for that is because you do not, 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 not want the UI changes. Now, I know it's called PCGUI, but currently, since it's 1.2, it changed all the GUI. This pack doesn't work right for the GUI. Thankfully, this pack doesn't just change the GUI. It also changes sounds, shaders for the water, and some other little miscellaneous textures like the Observer. Now, the other pack, you're not going to modify at all. And apparently, there's text files you can read in here. You don't need to read those, though. So now what you're going to do... Once you've imported them into Minecraft and deleted the UI folder, it's super, super, super important that you delete the UI folder. It will not work if you don't. I can't stress that enough. Once you're in Minecraft, it takes forever to load, by the way. That's probably just because I'm recording right now, but yeah, it takes a really long time to load Minecraft. Now, you will notice that I actually have the packs already applied. But the thing is, I'm going to show you how to get them onto the Xbox so you can do it on the big screen. And so basically, I've already got the packs applied. This is how the main menu will look. It looks great. As you can see up in the corner here, it just says, like, people who attributed tell stuff. It's very good that they added that up there so that I can... I don't even have to credit them. It gives them credit by itself. So then, this is what the main menu looks like. It looks great. It looks like it does on console. And then just hit play. Now, come to create new. They haven't changed this at all. Generate random, and then just put whatever settings you want here. I'm just going to quickly turn these on and put it on operator permissions. So, uh, short coordinates, no. Okay, so then what you need to do is come to multiplayer. Turn this to invite only if you want. This can be whatever you want. Make sure this is on, and make sure this is on. You have to be on the same Wi-Fi for this to work as your device. So, come down here to add-ons down here right now. And I, I just said a lot of things. So, click PCGUI 6 point six whatever it's called click it plus so it puts it right there do the same thing with Vill vanilla deluxe now you should have this nice stack of stuff right here global resources pcg ui vanilla deluxe click this so that it's check marked you have to have that or else it won't download on the xbox and then create the world now the world is loading and it will take absolutely forever because i'm recording it really does slow down my tablet but now I'm going to show you the loading screen, even the loading screen, even something such as small as the loading screen, has been turned into a beautiful Minecraft console experience. And if you know what I mean, basically they turn it from that ugly little box to this. This is how it's supposed to look. It gives you hints at the bottom down here, tells you the syncing pack with server, basically what it would usually say here, and then the title's smaller so it doesn't cover the whole screen. And it, it was kind of annoying that it did that. As you can see, they've even got the bar from the old console edition that loads. It's 
Oh, I'm just so glad that someone really went through the trouble of this. So, now once it loads, you should see that the water looks good. And, oh my gosh, it's not working at all. It says Minecraft isn't responding, and that might be true. Now, luckily, on tablet, you don't actually have to do anything once the world is loaded. The, it can actually be not responding. So, this is all you had to do on your tablet for now. Just have the world open and your guy in it. And now let's hop back over to the... Now we're back on ugly Xbox One edition that looks terrible, if we're honest here. The words are too big at the top, the menus are ugly, which is why we're going to join our tablet world, which we've just called My World here. And it has to be LAN World. You, you have to be- and when you see it, you will get this message. Uh, it'll say download and join or leave. You- that's why you put the checkbox, you can only download the packs- or you can only join the world by downloading the packs and click download and join and then right here it downloads the packs and then applies them instantly so now the unfortunate part is instead of going into your resource packs selectable area it just goes into cached data but as you can see now we're on the big screen or well it's the same size to you but we're on minecraft xbox one and here we are we've got the special resource packs applied we've got the better autosave icon we got the nice inventories here. We've got this beautiful thing. Now, if this menu is all bugged out when you open it, that's because you forgot to delete the UI folder. Make sure you delete that UI folder, because basically, guys, let me explain what the two packs do. The first pack, which is the PCG UI pack, doesn't actually change any of the UI. All it changes is the water, the lava, and it fixes a glitch with the name tag texture. That's really the only reason you have that pack installed, and I think the water in alone is a good enough reason to install that pack. The lava's a good bonus, and then the name tag is just the best part, because it's just a little funny bug. And then, the next, the mixed UI pack is what makes it look like console. It fixes the recipe book here, it fi by uh, making it so you can turn it off like that. Now the only, it fixes this menu, it uh, adds a player list option, which is surprising, I didn't know that was possible. And the only really annoying thing is that up in that corner of the inventory right there, there's just like a little box with nothing in it. That's supposed to be the X for with touchscreen, but since you don't need a touchscreen X on the Xbox edition, it just kind of hangs there without an X at all. So, yeah, that's a glitch. But really, guys, this is how Minecraft is supposed to look. Oh, look at that. That's actually kind of cool. I appear on my own map. Like that, that's that's pretty cool. If we're honest here, that's a pretty cool little exclusive feature. But basically, guys, that is the end of this video. This is how you fix most of the things wrong with Minecraft Bedrock Edition in one or two resource packs. Because, guys, thanks so much to EX and the guy, whoever the people who made PCGUI pack are. I don't even know that yet. It's kind of sad, but... Basically, guys, thank goodness that they came and fixed the water and the chest and the the um, item selector thing. It's just, it's this is how Minecraft should look, guys. It's better. So thank you so much for watching. And for now, I do want to tell you all, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.